What is that, Ben? Uh, the TAN has to be renewed every year. What uh, is TAN? I'm sorry, a tax anticipation note. So it's just basically a line of credit for the town. Mm -hmm. uh, hope to never use it, but again, we've used it in the past when you run short on funds. Uh, I don't anticipate that we will. Hopefully we get some good plans in motion here to keep going with what we've been doing. Getting the town back around. Like I say, originally we had to borrow 700000 when I first came in with Karen uh, from the TAN. Um, just because of the mess that we were left with and then on top of that all the hidden expenditures that were later revealed um, with the rescue and the whole mess kind of blew up but the following March we borrowed 300,000 just to make sure you know you don't flatline um, and then you know it that's all been better. paid back so oh yeah right away so know. right now our, our so the line of credit is at zero we don't owe right. anything on it okay right. you can't take it over to the next year you have to pay it off before the end of the fiscal year um, but every new fiscal year, you have to renew. So, okay. there. Hmm. Yes, How much debt did Rescue leave the town with? Uh, what was cleaned up and approved by the voters was 196000 was on the ballot. Unfortunately, there was a wrong booking, so there was an additional 15000 on there that your new Rescue, or how we kept them separate, old and new, eight as well. So to be in the black right now, at the end of this year, they've done very well. So even after the voters approved to pay that 196000 the new rescue still folks paid. still had, how much did you say? Yeah, they didn't, if you think about it, when, you, when you, you're starting a business at that point, right, I got to right. pay personnel, I got to buy supplies, um, you know, and you have that massive debt behind you, <clears throat> you're not just starting a business with zero, they actually ended up, because someone was booked in the wrong account, was uh, $15,000 in the hole. They, so they began already in the halls, so that they're operating yeah. this well is, is a big credit to them. Wow, that's actually amazing. Well, Who and knew? Honestly, to the PO system, because without that, we would have, you know, without those controls, uh, we wouldn't have really been able to keep going. <clears throat> right, especially going through so many chiefs in, in the period of a year. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've got you on every. I oh, had another question looking at these uh, minute meetings, too. It said uh, you guys had approved for uh, Paul Philbrook to stay on as the um, yep. the uh, secretary for the code enforcement officer. Yeah. Is that something that's going to be um, appointed again as of the 1st of July, or is he all done uh, here as of the 30th of June? As of right now, he's all done. He'll be all done. He had expressed that he's still willing to uh, donate his time for any questions that might come up. Um, but I do believe, unless I'm speaking out of turn correctly, but the intention of the board is that he's all done as of 6.30. It's just basically to get the code enforcement officer up on his feet. Right, okay. And, w and when does the new code enforcement officer start? The 1st of July? No, this Monday. This Monday? Oh, very nice. I have to come in and say hello. Now, would you guys do appointments like that? Do you have them come into the board? I mean, I've never seen you like have them come into the board or introduce them to people or, you know, like might they with time if he accepts the road commissioner's appointment? You know, I think there's a lot of people in town that would like to see that appointment or see that swearing in. And people have co said that they would be interested in it, and I said, well, kind of already happened. Yeah. By surprise. Well. So. Yeah. Even like us getting sworn in, we're sworn in that night at the elections, and mm -hmm. I, I know there's been family members that even expressed, "Boy, if I'd known, I'd been there." Right, you know, right. Uh, no, it wasn't on the high priority list to break that down, but <laughs> yeah, no, I just was curious. Maybe in the future you could do like one night where everybody got sworn in. I think that would be nice for the town too. Yeah, you know. Especially with Tom, you know, where his dad was such a, a long time person here.
This works. Does it? Good. It works. Yeah. We can show you all the way back to uh, September of last year when we, when we started the program. We can show you what the money was spent. So don't you think that winds up being a good thing, Mr. Heath? What's that? Don't you think that winds up being a good thing that you can actually show on paper every all the money that's been spent? Of course it is. Of course it is. We're not having debates tonight. Thank you. I wasn't debating. I just asked you a question. <laughs> wow. I hope, I hope your answer was okay. It was perfect. It was awesome. It was just what I was hoping you'd say. Um, as far as, uh, I'll address too, as far as the meetings, mm -hmm. uh, we've done what we can to accommodate right here. I mean, I think there's valid points with, depends on how many people's coming, to be honest mm -hmm. with you. Um, what we've looked at, we haven't really made a decision yet. I think we're still kind of looking at moving into this office. Mm -hmm. It's not really that much bigger. Nope. <laughs> so your other option is going to be, then I'll move to make everything workshops, which the public's still invited to, obviously, but I don't have to accommodate full-fledged meeting. And okay. then we'll go back to the Tuesday night meetings. So, so what you're saying is that you don't have any intention of allowing as many people as want to come to the selectmen's no, meeting to attend? What I, my intention is to not stop the flow of the business of the town because we still need to meet with employees. And right now, unless you want to pay them overtime, I'm mm -hmm. not meeting with employees this week. You What's know, wrong with changing the names to Stephanie Park and having it right here? Yeah, we can do that. Again, what was always being done is, is you know, we still have to be able to function with the employees of the town in the office. Uh, so what's been being done in the past is in the back, you know, way back before I got in, there was workshops, which the public still can attend. Still what, public. What, what is workshops? Uh, I don't have to accommodate a big meeting area, but the public can still come. I don't, I gotta look into that. But well, I mean, if that's that? what we gotta turn it into, and we do our Tuesday night meetings where all, everybody has a lot of questions, that's mm -hmm. fine too. We can, we can go back to doing the Tuesday night meeting every other. Um, but I mean, those are some of the options. I mean, we want to try to accommodate, but this doesn't work for keeping the office open. Um, so we're trying to weigh out the best decisions that we can. Even going to the school or something like that is not working to, again, interact with the treasurer, interact with Sue. Um, so unfortunately, designing this building is not the best, in my opinion. And uh, so we're limited at what we're trying to, trying to figure it out. Mm. That's what I'm saying. So right, I'm just trying to understand this. So you would have like one meeting where the public w would be welcome like on your Tuesday nights because your office welcome. closes at five? They're always welcome. Just even like It's just how time. many can fit in that does back this, room. Does this fit everybody in the town? No, so but if more complain. people came, we would probably have to do something <laughs> I mean, about it. The point is it's always from perspective. It's my right. Point. So whether it's five people, whether it's 10, that's what I'm kind of looking at in here. I mean, mm -hmm. if I can figure out where at least I can have 10 chairs, it's better than what we had. Right. Everything's only going only to be better than what we had. Right. This is better than in there, but it's still not enough to accommodate when I have rescue questions that blew up, or, you know, or, you know, we're never going to have a venue big enough right now. Right. So we have to figure out what's going to be a decent compromise and, and whatnot. You know, it's not trying to keep people out, but it's trying to... Maybe just a suggestion, if you had something and, like, 50 people showed up here, and you could say, oh, you know, we're going to table that for right now and then yep. make it a larger venue. But you can't you know. stop. And, and, and the thing is, I mean, I'll take your, your motions as uh, suggestions because that's what they are. Right. You know? That's exactly what they were, suggestions. Yep. Yep. And uh, the thing is, even with ADA compliance, we definitely want to do that. I think you get valid points there. Don't get me wrong. Right. But I can't stop the business of the town. Right. You know, so that, well, that's the, one the, big thing I the ADA do. might might say differently. You can't yeah. just conduct town business and not be accessible. I mean, you, you just can't. I mean, that, it, it's that's not a suggestion. That's a law. Right. You know, and it's a federal law. It's not even a main right. law. Right. I understand. I don't even think it was even as much even about that as much as 
fire codes too to prohibit that. I mean, you can't just have people clogging the hallways and clogging the other offices because if somebody had to get out of there, you would be, right. you'd be into, yeah, you could go out the window. You're young and spry. No, I, I'm, I'm not going out the window and I don't think Sandy is either. Is, I mean, honestly, uh, been very seldom that there's that many people paying attention to what's going on in town, unfortunately. I'd love to see more. Yeah, I think we're- I'd love to blow, right, blow that whole background out and put it in a big meeting room. You know, we need one in town. We do. But it's not on the budget this year, so that's where mm -hmm. we're stuck. Get on that. <laughs> yep. I make a motion that we end this. To adjourn? Yep.